and now. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my! Watch where you're going, buddy. Only meatheads pick up a 65 and a 60. <laughs> what do you think this is? Uh, right now, I'm on my way to yoga with my mom and my sister. Did you have your class? They're up there. So as you guys know, uh, powerlifting comp coming up fairly soon and my mobility kind of sucks. So what I need to do is I need to focus on stretching a lot more um, and doing a lot more static stretching. So this is a good way to get in there. All right, here we are. Okay, body flow is awesome. It's actually a mixture of um, yoga, tai chi, and Pilates. Uh, I actually had an hour to kill beforehand because my sister was doing a body attack class. So what I'm doing is I'm practicing my low bar squatting because I tried it yesterday for the first time and it went super well. I hit 315 for an easy single, so today I came in, uh, and even though I did it yesterday, I came in today and uh, got up to 315, it felt really nice. I'm just trying to get the hang of things. And uh, yeah, so this is my twin sister. You guys have actually never met her before. Do we look alike? I mean, there's my mom. Aww. So yeah. Now I'm heading downtown to uh, meet my buddy Tari and his brother Kenneth and uh, they're going to interview me so here's a day in the life. This is our house now. Uh, generally I'll have around 90% of whole food so I'll have chicken, fish, steak, egg whites, eggs um, and like I said I also have two scoops of EHP Labs protein in the morning which is around 48 grams. So this is an awesome way to really get my protein goals out of the way. So if I'm eating out all day, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, generally, I, uh, I'll make sure I have a big meal full of carbs right before. Another thing I like to do is I like to caffeinate myself, whether it's pre-workout, a coffee, something like that, just to get my, you know, my mind right, get, my, um, get super fired up. <laughs> and, uh, and then I just like to listen to hardcore music. And then once I step in the gym, it's just go time. It's just me and the weights. All right, guys, so we just finished up the interview with my buddy Kenneth, who's actually a new media student. He does a joint program at Centennial College and University of Toronto. How did I do, buddy? You're a natural. Uh, was filming a time lapse and like we're crazy high. We're on the penthouse suite and my camera just fell, so I'm fortunate it fell backwards and not forwards or else it'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing it. That makes the best fitness and uh, lifestyle bags on the planet, in my opinion. They're called Fitmark Bags, and basically they send us their products to promote. Um, we tell all our friends about it, and then we promote them on our YouTube or Instagram. And then the second one we have is called EHP Labs. They're a really recent sponsor. They're a fairly new company, and they make like the most natural um, products in my opinion, and they all taste like amazing. Last year I did a physique competition, so you can see on the back right here, I got my physique competitor jacket. And uh, yeah, so basically we just went up on stage, did some posing, um, we got super lean. For the editing process alone is just a few hours. I'd say like for a very well done like um, video where the editing is superb, it's gonna be like a minimum of three hours. But even the process of planning it, the process of you know trying to find perfect angles and, and all that is like six, seven, eight hours. It's a very long process, but um, you know, once you do it long enough, you get the hang of it and it starts to become a lot faster and you become more efficient while filming. Colossus Fit on Snapchat is our name. Right there. He's the supermodel. <laughs> Vlogception! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we gotta get in the gym, bro. Yeah, fight me up! <laughs> <laughs> came in here, Tari's like, yo, let's fire up a workout. There's no better workout uh, to do with a buddy than crush some chest. This was my second bench press workout of the week. So I came in, I had my numbers. This is the first week of Candido. So I put 185 on the bar and uh, I was supposed to hit 10 reps and it went really, really, really smooth. As you guys can see, 
One thing I'm trying to really focus on is really utilize the leg drive, the pin. This is something I've been trying to work on in the past month and Josh uh, has been helping me out a lot with that because you guys already know that Josh has such an unreal pin, such an unreal setup. So I'm trying to kind of like mimic his setup and really utilize leg drive because that's going to be everything, especially since you guys know a powerlifting competition is coming up in the near future. Next, I moved on to two, uh, 210 pounds. It's supposed to be 205, but I was feeling really good, and this was for eight reps. Um, and you know, as you guys can see, I'm really pushing through the legs. I'm getting a nice arc in my back, and uh, just doing like a nice powerlifting style setup. Um, and what I'm trying to do is I'm also trying to pause for a fair amount of time because as you guys know in powerlifting, it's not like a touch and go thing, so I'm just trying to practice that. And then I went for 225. Supposed to actually be 215, so I was kind of like, ah, I'm just gonna go for it. I have Tari here for some motivation, but uh, it didn't go as well. I was supposed to get six reps, went for four, and since Tari was filming, I didn't actually have a spot, so I just like decided to call it there. Didn't want to pull a Dave Lotito Pump Savage and just have the bar drop on myself. <sighs> But anyways, so Tari is actually used to doing dumbbell presses. He works out in an apartment gym. And uh, today's like kind of question, should I go 45s on each side? What should I do? Should I overload? Um, and basically we decided the best thing for him to do since he's not used to it is to put 35 on the bar, see how it feels, get as many reps as possible, get the volume in. Because a lot of people, what they'll do is they come in and they focus on uh, you know hitting one rep maxes, especially for someone who hasn't done barbell bench pressing in a while. The best thing you could do, just put Brian. on some nice weight, Brian. rep it out, and then see how that goes. So what he did was 35 on each side. He left the ego at the door. Exactly. Right to the end. You said you wanted to die today, right? He got some nice reps in, and he's focusing on growing his strength rather than his ego. So shout out to Tari. He's my buddy, longtime friend from high school. Um, thanks for filming. It's been a sick day. And now on to the next exercise. How many meatheads pick up a 65 and a 60? Who do you think this is? So now we're gonna move on to the incline dumbbell press. So basically what we did was we came in, we did about three sets of eight. I only did 80 pounds and uh, just really focused on getting a nice contraction, really firing up the chest. Didn't feel like going up to like hundreds or anything today. My chest was already burnt out. So we did that. Uh, Tari, you know, crushed it. He went up to like 50 pounds. And uh, so we, we did that and then we moved on. And then basically what we did next was we moved into some floor press. You guys have seen us do this in many videos. It's an awesome exercise to really focus on the lockout portion of your bench press. So we came up, I did uh, one play for warm up and then I moved to 185. Once again, my chest was already like demolished. So basically I was going for 10 reps and you guys will be able to see that <laughs> I got stuck on the 10th rep and uh, and Tari had to stop filming basically and come help me out. So I was just pushing myself to the absolute yep. max. So basically we did uh, three sets of 10 for the floor press. At this point we were already demolished. Um, you know, it was, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy reps, crazy volume. So Tari put on 115, he repped it out. Um, and this was his first time doing it. And, you know, it was really cool to see him actually get the hang of it. One of the things he wants to do is improve the lockout part of his bench press. So that's why I had him try it out. We could have done pin press, we could have done a spotto, but we decided to just go in and okay. do the floor press. A lot of you guys may be thinking, hey, that looks weird, especially in such a packed gym. But uh, one of the things we realize is, you know, you're kind of going to go in. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work. People may be looking at you weird. Next, we move it on the hammer strength machine. We didn't actually film it. We did a bunch of drop sets and we actually absolutely demolished our chest. It felt super nice and then now we're off to get some food. Thanks for watching, guys. Go. Our motto is eat big or go home, so gotta crush it. Pineapple drink. It was an awesome day working out with uh, one half of Colossus Fitness. Really good chest workout, I enjoyed it. Hang out with an old friend again. Peace out.